Hey guys, thought I'd hop on real quick. So I went in my fridge, you guys saw that leftover chicken in there, and we're going to do something with it. So I have the chicken all cut up in a pot, and I added, I had four random bags of the mixed veggies here. I had the um, organic mixed veggies. I had four bags of those, and so we put those in with the chicken, and he is taking the chicken off the bone from the two chickens that we did for the broth. He's taking the chicken off the bone for that and cutting that up for me. And then while he does that, we are going to, we are going to make cornmeal bread that's gluten-free. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put you guys up here. And there we go. Can you see? Okay, so what we're gonna do is start off with cornmeal. And we're looking at, I'm gonna do eight cups of cornmeal. I'm gonna pour this one into here and then I'll open it up. She's gonna start measuring that. I gotta get some tablespoons. So while she measures out that, I am doing four tablespoons of baking powder. One, two, three, four. And then I'm gonna do one tablespoon of salt. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, so then we need eight all together. So you want to hold it? Yes. I don't know if that was that. It's one, so we need eight all together. Two. Three. four six eight so it would be eight tablespoons of sugar or honey i like honey maple syrup kind of made it a little thin so um i'm gonna eyeball this to be honest two. all right that's about it Ooh, honey and then should i go grab a spoon yes Okay, go ahead. She's gonna go grab a spoon and then we'll add some milk. Like a hard one. Like a wooden spoon. So this you can hear it. It was it's like semi-frozen still. I took these out of the freezer the other day, trying to use up some of the freezer stuff. It might look, when I pour this in, because it's partially frozen, it might look kind of like it's like sour, but it's not sour. It's like half frozen and half not. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four. 
five. So it's like five and a third cups. So I'm just going to add a little bit more. There we go. All right. Now you can mix it up. I am, while she mixes that up, I'm going to crack. Whoa. We're going to crack four eggs into the bowl. Yeah, go slow. One, two, precious cargo here. With this egg. Okay, so funny. If you guys saw my refrigerator thing, I said that I had four eggs left, but I actually found two cartons like shoved up against the back wall like this. And I was a little upset how they were, but thankfully, I don't think that they were broken. And so now we have more eggs than I thought we did, which is always a bonus. But the issue is, is they were pushed up against the back. So a lot of them are cracked and frozen. So, see. I'm going to I'm trying to find some that are least frozen and then I'll leave these on the counter. Yeah, I know it's frozen. Huh? Two. There we go. So four eggs all together. And then I'll leave these on the counter to mix it all up. All right. So It's your cooking show. Are you going to watch yourself or are you going to watch what you're doing? <laughs> so the reason that we are making this is we are making a chicken pot pie, but we're going to pour this over the top afterwards. So she's going to mix that up. She's going to mix that up all nice. And um, I am going to cook the other stuff on the stove, which shouldn't take long at all i was thinking on doing it on the wood stove because the wood stove is already going but i don't know if there's somebody no there's nobody that can hold the laptop while i do that so i will put this on the regular stove it's still dark in here maybe it... who's in there i might be able to do it okay my son is offering to hold this so follow me are you going to dance with us too? <laughs> okay, it was silly to waste okay. fuel, so we are out here um, by our wood cook stove. This is our wood cook stove. It is a hmm, kitchen queen. There we go. It is the name of the wood stove. It says it right behind me, and I didn't even really realize what it was. I have a two-year-old who is screaming, lunchtime, in case anyone was wondering. My son is helping me, so we are working together. He is dumping about a cup of the gluten-free flour in there just to thicken it up. You could also use um, cornstarch or um, regular flour or arrowroot. So he's just going to stir that in. So it's been cooking for a couple minutes. The frozen vegetables basically are not frozen anymore. He's just going to pop that together. And then he's going to dump this broth on there. That's probably good. Sorry, we don't have lighting over here. We're trying to work on getting better lighting. And then we'll just stir that in. Let me see. Let me see if I can get in a little bit better. We have a, um, it's actually like a three foot high fence here so that the little kids don't get in. He's just going to stir that. I'm going to go break up that fight and grab some. 
So we're back in the dining room. This um, filling right here is the filling for the pot pie. So it has a bunch of leftover chicken in it. And then I have the um, bags that I wanted to use up from the freezer, as well as some broth that I, so I canned the other day from the two chickens. I canned 21 quarts of broth, but then there was a little bit left over. So that's the broth that was there, but there wasn't quite enough, enough so I had to add another quart. You want to like cover the top with it. So do you want this washed out? No. Okay. So what we're gonna do is, can you hold it like this size? Yeah. So I have an assistant here. We're gonna dump this in. Like this, and we'll spread it out. We have a two-year-old helper too. One minute, you're going to help with this part. Okay. Okay. So we're going to spread this like this, and then we have our. Okay, you mix it. So we have our corn topping. And we're uh, going to um, top uh, it like this. this. And this yes. one. Roll up this sleeve. Okay, can you spread it on here? Yes. Okay, so grab that. And we're going to pour it on here. One, two, three, three. Yep, dump it on. Mama. And yep, more. some more. More a little bit. More a little bit. More a little bit. Let's see. So we are going to. Do you want to hold or do you want to pour? Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so he, he is going to pour the rest of it on there. Ready? But oh, it's fun funny. for two-year-olds to help. No, okay, you ready? Yeah. He's going to dump, so don't dump it all at once. Here, I'll hold that. Actually, you can. Do this. Do it. We'll do this. I do this. Do it. To do this. Oh, You're going to do that? Oh, okay, scrape it out. Scrape it out. All right, good. That's good. And that is it. We're going to go put it in the oven for about oh, probably 45 minutes to an hour. And that will be our meal for tonight. So we decided, well, we have a couple minutes and we have a two year old that wants to help and is waiting for supper. So we are going to. Let's see. Wow. We are going to make some of this. I bought I this. I I yes, one minute you may do it. I bought this a few months ago and we opened it and we used it for like one day and we have not used it. It actually is really quite expensive, but I never think to use it. So I think what we're going to do while we have a few minutes is to make up what is in the rest of this bag into pancake mix and do some pancakes and just prep them for tomorrow morning. And then I'll just throw them on like a cookie sheet and then throw them in the oven to warm them up. So, you gonna do that? I do it. Oh. So where'd the other one go? Oh, wow. All right, let's count how many there are. All right. I do it. You count and we'll count. One, whoa. Two. Oh, I see that. Three. Whoa, careful. Four. We also have a bunch of different jellies, so I'm thinking on watering down a few of the berry jellies to use on top of this. Five. Four. Five. Five. What's that? Five. Okay, five. Five. Six. 
five. Six. Do something with this. Seven. Mine. I didn't. 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 Pinky. Okay, now hold it. Is that for tomorrow? Yeah. Tomorrow. Nine. Nine. Dump it in. And I'm just going to follow the recipe on the back here. It says one cup of baking mix, one large egg. So what did we just say? Eight. So we're going to do eight eggs. Oh, I'm going to do eggs. I do the eggs for you. No, I'm going to do the eggs. Let's see. We need some water too. Hold on. Yeah. Mommy, do eggs. One. Ow. Hold up. Do not do it. Too weak. Yeah, it's frozen. See? <laughs> Back in the refrigerator, egg. Two. I do it. Three. No. Three. Oh, I'm doing the eggs. You can do the oil. Okay. Help me count. Four. Five. I eat them. Seven. Six. Six. Seven. 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 And we'll have to peel this one <laughs> as well. Goodness. But you don't want the frozen ones to actually defrost because if they defrost, then it will be all stuck in the, um, it will all like That's ooze into so the frozen. thing. Yes, it is so frozen. Do you want to touch it? It's so frozen. You want to hold it? Whoa, that so frozen egg. Yes, now we need some oil. So it says we need eight it, tablespoons it, of oil. So you're going to hold this one. And I'm going to pour it in here. Okay. And we're going to do it eight times. One. Two. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to need to grab some water. I'm going to bring some water back. You stay there, okay? I see, dear. Yeah. You can tell the people on the camera a story. I'll be right back. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. Here it is. Should I, should I get you a whisk? Yeah. Are you going to do the mixer? Yeah. A week or no chair. You are on the chair. I see you. You hear? Here you go. Let you do this. A mixer for you and me. And me. You're making it for her and you? Can mommy have some too? Yeah. What are you making? I do this on that. And this. Making up. Mixing it up. What's it called? Something. It's, it's called, called something. something. I thought it was called pancakes. You're making pancakes? Thank you. Yummy. What did you put in the pancakes? Pancakes and yummy. Yes, they are yummy. What did you put in there? Mix, mix, mix. 
from it. Mm hmm. Let's see. Maybe that will work. Okay. Boys and the birds and the ties. What did you put in there? In shink. So we got to use up today. We used up some cornmeal. I'm trying to. I'm trying to, um, I have some bins in the house. I'll show those to you in just a second. And I'm trying to use all the stuff that's in the bins so that I can wash out the bins and like re-clean those and then refill them. And then um, I'll bring things in. Those are like dry goods. Um, so I need to do that. Um, so I wanted to use this up because I never end up like using this mix itself. I bought it when we first um, started doing gluten free, and then I've been experimenting with different things this besides this. This wasn't so our favorite, um, but this will give us an opportunity also to use up some of the jams that we need to use up. So we are going to use that, and then we need to use some of those frozen eggs. Frozen eggs. And we had all that Nine. leftover chicken to use up to make the chicken pot pie. pie. So that will be yummy for supper. Yummy for supper. Yes. And then pancakes would be yummy for breakfast. Mm -hmm. Best cakes for supper. For breakfast. <laughs> for breakfast. So I will show you the bins that I'm looking at. And this. I'll show you what I have in the house and how, how I'm trying to use them down. Because I don't think that I actually showed those to you the other day. So <clears throat> we have dry goods. Obviously, we use a lot because we have 14 people in the house. So I have, I have a messy kitchen. Go figure, my kitchen is always messy. Okay, I have these bins here. And so this one I officially used up. This one has some sugar in it that needs to get used. This has one bag left of the measure for measure flour. So we have this one bag to use up before we like wash everything out and everything. Um, there's various sugars in here, brown sugar. Um, I think some coconut sugar in there. Down here, I have some cassava flour as well as the masa um, for corn tortillas. So I'll have to do a day where I make tortillas because that's like all things to make tortillas. And then down here, I have the cornmeal in the packages and I have quite a bit of that. But I just, I had also bought a bag that was 25 pounds of the cornmeal and I want to like dump that in there. So I'm trying to like get these used up, cleaned out so we can put that stuff in there. Yeah, so I also have another bin that has a bunch of oats in it, and I know I won't be able to use it down completely, but I'm thinking what I want to do is try to get it halfway full and then maybe bag up that halfway. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what I want to do with that because I would like to like get things down so I can clean them all out. And I also have rice that way. We found the wild rice we don't use as much, and my bin is actually, I have a bin over here for that. So this is actually the cornmeal that needs to go in there. And then this bin here is for rice. And I have various bags of rice in here, but we have a lot of wild rice in there and we don't use that as much. So I'd like to like get that organized better. So it's um, like the stuff that we use in front. So we're able to use that the most. And then my oats is in here. In there we have oats and it's still that's still really full um so i don't really know what i want to do but i would like to try to get that down some and then maybe reorder or something after that because when you do get going with oats like you can use a lot of oats i think what i want to do is just reminds me we're making um she just made the topping so i can make it crisp so i'm going to take some berries out of the freezer and do that for the top of the crisp I mean for the top of the, and what she just made for the top of the crisp. We're going to do that. And then I also want to make for the week, but we have a really good gluten-free um, raisin, oatmeal raisin cookie. And so we'll probably take you along for that. It actually uses two good ingredients that I want to use up. One would be some of the oats that I want to use down. And then I also have some um, apple butter and it uses apple butter in it. So it would be great if I could use some of that. So that is what we are doing. I hope that we'll come back with at least pictures. I'm not sure if I'll have a video at the end or a picture at the end. At least pictures with what we just made. All right. Have so it is ready to be supper time. 
This is done. And these are the kids' plates. And then I'm using some home canned fruit here. And that is about it. And my two-year-old wants a pop instead of chicken pot pie. She's having chicken pot pie. Okay, so the um, crisp is actually in the oven. We'll probably do that for dessert tonight because my husband should be home pretty soon. And um, that would be awesome to have. So we will talk to you later.